<laughs> uh, do you think there's meaning to any of it from a mathematical perspective? This life. If I were to ask you, we're talking about primes, talking about proving stuff. Can we say, so? and then the book that God has that uh, mathematics allows us to arrive at something about in that book. There's certainly a chapter on the meaning of life in that book. Do you think we humans can get to it? And maybe if you were to write cliff notes, what do you suspect those cliff notes would say? I mean, look, the way I feel is that, you know, mathematics, as we've discussed, like it underlies the way we think about constructing learning machines. It underlies physics. Um, it can be, I mean, it does all this stuff. And also, you want the meaning of life? I mean, it's like, we already <laughs> did a lot for you. Like, ask a rabbi. <laughs> No, I mean, I, yeah. you know, I wrote a lot in the, la in, in the last book, <laughs> How Not to Be Wrong. Yeah. I wrote a lot about Pascal, a fascinating guy um, who is a sort of very serious religious mystic as well as being an amazing mathematician. And he's well known for Pascal's wager. I mean, he's probably among all mathematicians, he's the one who's best known for this. Can you actually like apply mathematics to kind of these transcendent questions? Um, but what's interesting when I really read Pascal about what he wrote about this, you know, I started to see that people often think, oh, this is him saying, I'm going to use mathematics to sort of show you why you should believe in God, you know, to really, that's this, mathematics has the answer to this question. Um, but he really doesn't say that. He almost kind of says the opposite. If you ask Blaise Pascal, like, why do you believe in God? It's, he'd be like, oh, because I met God. You know, he had this kind of like, psychedelic experience it's like a mystical experience where as he tells it he just like directly encountered god he's like okay i guess there's a god i met him last night so that's that's it that's why he believed it didn't have to do with any kind of, you know the mathematical argument was like um about certain reasons for behaving in a certain way but he basically said like look like math doesn't tell you that god's there or not like if god's there he'll tell you <laughs> you know <laughs> you don't need, um, i love this so you have you have mathematics. You have uh, what do you what do you have like uh, ways to explore the mind? Let's say psychedelics. You have like incredible technology. You also have love and friendship and like what what the hell do you want to know what the meaning of it all is? Just enjoy it. 